Yes? Who is this? It's me, Ludmilla, your sister. Listen, you have to come home. Ludmilla? What happened? It's Mom. She... She's dead. What? What the hell are you talking about? She changed herself. God damn it. Are you telling me the truth? You think I lie about such a thing? She's dead as Lazarus. She's hanging by a rope in the closet. Oh my god. I'm so scared. It's dark and raining and, and I'm all by myself. What do I do? What do you do? Why the hell did you call me in the first place? Call the damn police or an ambulance. Please tell me you'll come home. I don't know. What? What the hell do you mean? You have to come home. Our mother is dead and you just... Listen, I can't. Not now. I have a job and it's not the sort of thing I can walk away from. To hell with your job. You left me and mom just like father did. You're a selfish bastard. Listen, if I could, I would come home right away. But I really can't. I'll come home by Christmas, okay? No, it's not okay at all. You have to come at once. I can't wait that long. I'm all by myself here. Why can't you understand? I'm sorry. Lazarus? Are you there? Oh my god. What do I do? You bastard. This old dump I left behind when I turned 16. I'd miss it. Why the hell didn't I just come to the funeral? That last job was a mess. Now I need to lay low for a while. I hope at least my sister will forgive me. I should have bought some flowers. She must be expecting me. Aside from going to work, she never leaves the apartment. Ludmila, I'm home. It's locked. Often called a dictator, the new president has won the people's vote of confidence through unprecedented measures. In his latest speech, he announced the increase of the minimum wage by 70%. For millions of people, the Christmas celebrations turn to feasts as the increased income brings a complete life change for them. The measure has also put an end to the protests organized by the opposition, who are still outraged by another decision by the president. Closing the borders. As you may... Increasing the minimum wage by 70% can mean for our country that just came out of the communist regime. My mother always said she liked to die listening to the ticking of this clock. But in the end, she hanged herself in the storage closet. Stopping our income, these are questions we should all try to answer. And there's another problem that personally reminds me of the practices of the communist regime. The requirement to declare each trip outside the city as well as its exact purpose. This is absolutely unacceptable. This was my father's typewriter. After he left us, her mother started writing weird religious poems and giving them to the neighbors. Made us look like a family of fanatics. You want to go back? 
If we restrict our freedom of movement, then it means we are facing a real problem. As we all know, the frontiers were closed to the regular citizens. In other words, me, or you, the ones at home, cannot leave the country unless you have a special act approved by the authorities, and this is almost impossible to obtain. We have countless of complaints about this abuse. This is inadmissible. This issue is well known to the president who chose a populist measure precisely to buy our freedom. This 70% was offered to us in exchange for freedom, and we accepted it. We voted for a new dictator. From my point of view, this is a death sentence. This is the truth. Just wait for what will happen in the next few days. Quite a lot of pills. Mom had a disturbing addiction to painkillers. Ludmilla should have thrown them away. Damn it! Those religious depictions make me feel uncomfortable. This is the place where my mother took her life.
back in the day. Yeah, I had hair on my head once. My little sister, Ludmila. The only photo of mom and dad together. See a dim light coming from inside. You look a little rough, old boy. I hate to break this to you, but you fit perfectly in this old decrepit place. How the hell can you eat this thing? It looks like it stood here for days. The stench is overwhelming. What the hell, Ludmila? Hello? Lazarus, you finally arrived. Yes, a, a few moments ago. I thought you'd be home. Where are you? I'm beside her mother. Are you still at the cemetery? You should hurry up and catch the bus, or else... Don't worry, I can handle it on my own. Listen, I brought you money. Enough for you to start a new life somewhere else. I want you to know that I am very sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I have forgiven you already, Lazarus. We all make mistakes from time to time. I have my own sins. Oh, thank you. Listen, you should hurry up. It's cold and dark already. By the way, where are you calling from? Ludmilla, are you still there? Just wait for me. I'll see you soon. Five more minutes. Okay, let's talk about Father Abraham, all right? Everyone knows him, but not everyone knows about his past. This is important because you, you'll certainly meet him. Dear fellow citizens, just by looking out the window, we can all see the church where this individual serves. That blue building with the golden roof that cost us, the taxpayers, a fortune. This man, as I will not call him a priest, started his spiritual life somewhere in England as a Roman Catholic priest, far from Romania's now defunct... My sister seems to be lazier than me. Forty years ago, dear listeners, his name was on everyone's lips. During that time, a series of uncertain but scandalous events took place in his life culminating with the death of his own son. Some of you may not know that the Roman Catholic priests are not allowed to get married, but you know what he did? He had an affair with a woman, and she ended up killing herself after. How convenient. Now about the son. At that time, the press said the boy was just the victim of a car accident. Again, how convenient. After giving up the priestly clothing of the Roman Catholic Church, 
Abraham moved to Romania, where he discovered Eastern Orthodox Christianity and chose the path of monasticism. He is now, as you may know, a hieromonk. That is, I understand, both a monk and a priest, being highly appreciated by the faithful. Yet again, what a convenient turn of events. Don't you see a pattern? This man sure knows how to get whatever he wants. So that is his story. What's my opinion of him? This man is no priest. He's a fraud and, worst of all, a murderer. He is a man that got away with murder. What the hell is this thing? on this wall and a foul stench coming from behind this is madness she even locked the bathroom door Losing my mind? What the hell was that? I should call the police right away. Hello, what's your emergency? You need to send someone. There's there's a creature in my bathroom. A hideous monster. Something like... So please calm down and try to speak louder. I can't speak louder. That thing is right next to me, just behind the door. There's a horrible thing here. The earthquake must have caused it to come out. It's sticking out of the toilet. And there's... there's black stuff smeared on the walls. Please, send some... Okay, I'm going to ask you to calm down and back away from the door. Try to arm yourself with a knife if possible. Are you kidding? It's a bloody monster. How would a knife help me? Damn you, just send someone. Oh God, it's happening again. Please, calm down. You are not the only emergency. There are reports from all over the city about the normal activities and strange occurrences. You are not our first priority. No, no! Damn you! Open the 
this damned door. overwhelmed by an unexplainable rush of anxiety, fearing for my sister's safety. The decision to close the country's borders has sparked controversy, especially among ordinary people. The fact that only rich citizens with political connections seem to have access to documents that would allow them to leave the country at any time has enraged the public opinion. For those less fortunate, it seems the only way to obtain the needed papers is through illegal means, for large sums of money paid to unscrupulous profiteers who know the right pockets to grease. Concerns have been expressed by many that such restrictions imposed by the new- Wait a second. That's the bus that should have brought Ludmilla home. Oh, God. There were burnt corpses inside. Unrecognizable. Ludmilla, are you still alive? What the 
like a generator that's connected to the tank. Doesn't seem to work, though. Can you hear me? What the hell happened here? Listen. Can you hear me? Have you seen a young girl near the cemetery? They have slaughtered us. We must sink that cursed battle cruiser. What? Listen, I can't. There's a terminal down there that will remotely control this tank. Go and activate it. I cannot get involved in this. Listen, you selfish idiot. That girl is probably dead if she was caught in the crossfire. But something far more terrible is afoot. A demented maniac is on a rampage of slaughtering innocent people. If you sink the cruiser, we may all still have a chance to live. Do something good while there's still time. This is legit war. Is anyone there? It's me, the soldier on the beach. Right. I'm down in some shelter. Good job. It seems you still have a heart. Bastards. They told us we were coming here to free the monks. But when we got here, they ordered us to kill them all. How could we? But there isn't much time left. See that terminal beside you? It controls the tank you've seen on the beach. I see it. There must be a way to connect to the tank. There's a password somewhere. One of the dead soldiers had it. Maybe he wrote it on one of his notes. Will you find it, type it in the terminal, and follow the instructions. I understand. But listen. What? I can't hear you. They're probably listening to our conversation. Just hurry up. Thank you. 
Damn it. Destroy that damn cruiser! Is this even working? Are you still alive? You've done it! The cruiser is sinking! Great job! Uh, what the hell? It must have been an hour since the explosion. I woke up and tried to find a way out. My knees were shaking. Outside, the desolation filled the air. I wasn't sure anymore if that was snow around me, or was it ashes? I managed to escape to my car, but Ludmilla was nowhere to be found. I barely made it home alive. My back hurts like hell. This is not true, alright? They are trying to lure you into believing this nonsensical conspiracy. They are fanatics. Who in their right mind would believe that in this day and age someone would want to exterminate the community of defenseless monks? Seriously, there is scientific proof that in the Kalima region there are surges of methane gas leaking from the ground almost each year. The huge explosions were caused by the gas suddenly catching fire, not because of a military action. I know that some would like to believe that a Norwegian society is upon us, but that is simply not the truth. What the hell? So they're trying to cover it up. And I almost got myself killed out there. I'm not even sure if what I did was after all the right thing to do. And I have no idea how to find Ludmilla, or if something happened to her. It's an abnormal amount of pills. Damn it. All these pills must have interfered with my sister's mental health. It's like the old factory has been reopened. had something mysterious in her eyes. Why do all the doors need to be locked in the house? Damn it! This infestation is spreading everywhere. Hello? Ludmilla? Um, no. 
This is Lazarus. I'm her brother. Mr. Lazarus. Oh, thank God you answered. My name is Laura. I'm a journalist at the local newspaper. But don't worry, I didn't call to ask any uncomfortable questions. That's good to know. And why did you call? You see, I'm a friend of your sister's. We got close after your mother's death. But I haven't been able to get a hold of her for a while now. What do you mean? She hasn't been answering the phone. I came to her apartment the other day and found the entrance door open. I went in, but there was no sign of her. Only the living room was open. The rest of the apartment was locked up. Is she with you? No. I talked to her on the phone a few hours ago. She said that she is at the cemetery. What? That makes no sense. Why would she go to the cemetery at this hour? It's outside the city, plus the whole place was turned upside down by General Gotov. Listen, Mr. Lazarus, I'll drop by to discuss this right away. We need to find out what happened to her. Let's hope I can trust her. You don't seem to care that much about all of this, do you? those things coming from damn it i'm stuck in this place Look away. 